Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a tour of the Golisano College of Computing and Information Sciences. We are going to be hitting all three floors and then at the end walking over to the new Global Cybersecurity Institute building, which you can get to from this building. We will have the building largely to ourselves because finals is online this year due to COVID. Something important to note before we start the tour is that each floor of Golisano is home to a different department slash major. So the first floor is home to the software engineering department, the second floor home to interactive games and media, and then the school of information, and the third floor home to the com computer science department, and formerly the CSEC cybersecurity department. But that is a completely new building now. Classrooms and facilities for those majors are on those are mainly on those specific floors, but even if you are in one major, it does not mean that you will have all your classes on one floor. You will be all over the place, and in my opinion, I'm pretty sure every single Golisano student has a class in this auditorium at some point in their RIT career. This is what you'll see if you go through the main entrance of the Golisano building. The layout of the building seems complicated at first, but it's honestly just a giant rectangle with the classes and facilities around the perimeter. In the center, there's just this big open space with a set of stairs, and in the corner are more staircases. On the right, you'll see a place called Control Alt Deli, which is where there are wraps and sandwiches for students to get snacks in between classes. Here's the auditorium I mentioned earlier. There are often companies and speakers that come, as well as students often have their co-op prep class in here. To the left is the office of the dean, which is where the Golisano admins live and where the lost and found is. As we start to round this floor, you'll see doorways for classrooms, as well as chairs, tables, and high top areas for group work and just general studying. On the left, there are big open windows because they say that Golisano students are constantly staring at computers and that we don't get enough sunlight. And on the right, there is this billboard that is constantly updated with like cool events, clubs, and campus opportunities. One of the first rooms to the right is the Embedded Systems Lab. The next software engineering room on our right is the SE CoLab, which is just a lab center for software engineering students and also where some classes are taught. There's also this Teams room area, which is used for meetings, review on projects, and to plan activities. At the end, we have the SSE room, which stands for Society of Software Engineers. This is just a lab for mentoring, tutoring, and just asking questions in general. A lot of times students will hang out and do work here. The SSC is also a student organization and club that does a lot of fun technical projects and research. Rounding the corner, you'll find the SE main office, which is where you'll find your academic advisors. As we go down, you'll see the entrance to the new cybersecurity building, as well as a walkway towards the food places on campus like Salsaritas. Around here, we've got more labs, as well as professors' offices and PhD classrooms. Um, the Center for Accessibility Research is down here, as well as the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Support Center. Something I really like about Golisano is that the professors will often have like memes or weird knickknacks on their doors or windows for their offices. Oh, and of course, the elevators down here, and that's about it for the first floor. We've completely rounded it. Okay, now I'm headed up the main set of stairs to the second floor. As you can see, there's still more studying area here. And down the hall to the right is where the School of Information main office is. There are three majors of students in this department, Web and Mobile, HCC, and CIT. The coding classes at the beginning of these majors are all pretty similar, but they kind of segment into their own pathways. School of Interactive Games and Media office is right nearby, composing of two majors, Game Design and Development and New Media Interactive Development. Across from these two offices is two labs, the Networking and Systems Administration Lab. This first one is the Networking Lab, which is Star Wars themed. This is where classes related to routing and switching are held, and students can also get access to equipment and borrow things they need near here. Connected to this is the Systems Administrations Lab, aka SysAdmin, and it has pods and racks named after Disney characters. It's also where students get to learn more about operating systems and system security. Still on the second floor, there are a couple double-sided usability testing rooms for user research and experiments. More research labs, more targeted towards manufacturing and building the product technologies. There are three database labs, a small, medium, and large one. We've also got the Women in Computing Room, which was closed, but the club meets in there and they host hackathons, career help events, as well as just promote the success of women in computing fields. In the corner, there's the School of Information Tutoring Center with both Macs and Windows. 
And finally, a big area for game designers and developers is the IGM lab because it has a bunch of free game dev software for use, some smaller studios, as well as tutoring for those classes. The last thing to point out on this floor is that there is a little skyway that connects us to the Gleason Engineering Building, and there are plenty of vending machines all over the building that you can use with your RIT ID. This last room is a fun one, and I'm going to have a friend explain this. This is the Center for Computational Relativity and Gravitation. Uh, several years ago, RIT scientists proved Einstein's theory of gravitational waves using computations on this supercomputer. This is still in use uh, for many research projects going on, and you can actually rent time on the supercomputer. Okay, last but not least in this building is the third floor. Also note those banners hanging there, which are for the RIT cyber defense team winning some cyber defense competitions. But anyways, up here we've got the main office for computer science students, and again, lots of sitting area. Every floor also has like this guide, so it's pretty easy to find classrooms. This is the pervasive computing lab, which is engaged in research in ad hoc and sensor systems, as well as robotics. This is the goal lab, which stands for graph oriented applications research lab. Here are more Mac and Windows labs for different classes. The graphics lab is for research related to applied perception, so things like eye tracking and VR. The last three rooms to highlight on this floor is the distributed systems lab, the graduate research lab, as well as the document and pattern recognition lab, which is a research lab dedicated to machine learning techniques. Lastly, we've got the new building, which you can get to from the first and second floors of Golisano. If you were to enter through the main entrance, we've got this cool binary wall scaling up here, but if you were to enter through the building, uh, you would see this little display area instead. On the first floor, we have the computing security main office, again for students in this major, which is where you'd find your academic advisor and have meetings with them. This building is so new that I had to bring some friends along for a tour because a lot of current students haven't seen it yet. But again, in the middle of all three floors, there is seating slash studying area. Alongside this, the first room we're going to enter is the new cyber range, which is going to be used as a training center to simulate immersive cyber attack scenarios. It's capable of hosting more than 5,000 virtual machines at the same time, so it can emulate a company with big infrastructure. The second floor is where there are some security labs, which is where students of this major would have classes. This definitely looks like a room for RIT to host hackathons. This is the RITSEC room, which is a club at RIT that dedicates its time to help students prep for security competitions. We've got the super cool air gap lab where there's no PC or network equipment access to outside networks to protect the college infrastructure from attacks generated and studied for class. And lastly is the safe lab, which is designed to operationalize ongoing research, hopefully to have students solve real world problems for partner companies. The main facility to note on the third floor is the new Cybersecurity Research Center. They've got these giant adjustable whiteboards that also act as sectioners for the space, um, as well as cool sound containing pods for meeting space. And that is it for our tour of Golisano, all three floors, as well as the new Global Cybersecurity Institute building.